Hello, and today we're going to take a look at the LED Logic Wi Fi Bridge Controller, which will allow you to control all your Wi Fi remote control um, LED light bulbs from MyLight, LED Logic, um, etc. I'm just going to talk you through the process, show you how very simple it is to um, configure it for use with your phone or your tablet. Okay, now the first thing we need to do, of course, is to um, download the app because we're going to use it on a smartphone. We want to um, yeah, download the app. So it will work with either Google, um, Android devices, or Apple iOS devices, your iPhone, your iPad, etc. Today I'm going to demonstrate this with um, an Android device, um, but it will be pretty much identical for use with the um, Apple devices as well. Okay, because I'm using a Google device, I'm going to go to the Google Play Store. Of course, Apple, you go to the Apple App Store. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is download the app. Now, we need the MyLight um, version 3 app. Now, I say the version 3, that's very important because there are a number of previous um, MyLight apps which will not work with the latest version 6 bridge, which will give you the full functionality, uh, including all the latest um, light bulb types. Okay, so it's very specifically MyLight version 3 okay so we'll go ahead and um, download that okay I've actually downloaded it already on this machine just to speed things up so just go ahead and open the app okay now the first thing we need to do is make sure that the smart device that we're going to be using the phone or the tablet is connected to the Wi-Fi network that we're going to um, we're going to be using so whether it's at home or work uh, wherever you are, just make sure you're already connected to the Wi-Fi network. Now, with a smart device, we've just got to get that to connect to the network. It's very straightforward. We're simply going to power up the device. Uh, it comes with a micro USB cable, so we just pop that into any USB power source, and you'll see once it's powered up that the syslight is flashing, um, just to show us that that are up and running. One of the things I, um, I like to do, even for a new box before we start, is just to do um, a full factory reset, just to get it back to the absolute basics. Um, and to do that, we're just going to use a paper clip. There's a small reset button um, just inside the case here. So I'm just going to pop that in there, hold it in place for five seconds. Watch the LEDs. You're going to see they're going to both start flashing. There we go. Very quickly. That's done. That's now it's now a factory reset. It's not necessary, but as I say, it only takes a second. It's something I like to do, um, just to reset it back to, to normal. Now then, when we go to actually pair it up with the, um, with the app, we just need to put it in link mode. So again, we're going to use this, this little button inside here. Use the paper clip again or something similar. Paper clip, though, is ideal. One press. Link light is now flashing quickly. That's showing us that it's, um, it's ready to link. So, we'll go within the app, and you'll notice in the top right corner there's a little plus button. It's going to be the same for, as I say, Apple or Android. A little plus button in the top right corner, we're going to press that, which will take us to the configuration screen. Now, there are two modes, there's Smart Link and AP Link. The easiest way would, um, is going to be Smart Link, and that's what we're going to use. So just make sure you're on Smart Link. It should be showing your um, Wi-Fi network that the phone is connected to, and all you need to do is pop in your password for your network. So I'm just going to pop that in. So just take me a moment. Um, of course, it's going to be it's going to be different for everyone, but you're all going to know your own passwords for your Wi-Fi networks. Just check the Link LED is still flashing and then just go ahead and start configuration. Now watch the link LED. Um, as soon as it's made that connection, that's going to go solid, which it has done. But the app is still going to be counting down, okay? It's going to try and do this within 60 seconds, so it's counting down from 60 seconds. It's made the initial connection, there we go, it's gone to success. It's just does a little bit of work in the background. Go to six. As soon as it goes to success, just press OK. Go back off the configuration screen, top left hand corner with the back arrow. Okay, still got um, a blank device list. So we're just going to touch down the bottom, search, searching for device. So press that, and it will immediately show you your controller. Okay, so now we'll just go ahead. We'll just touch on the controller in the device list, and here we are. Here's the first screen. Now then, there's something I'm going to point out to you, which is very important. 
okay and um, often overlooked so let's make it perfectly clear if you look in this top right hand corner look at this little icon here with the two arrows just touching on that for a moment now then within the my light range there are many different bulb types okay and there are different controller types so for example this is for just for the dual white non-color just dual white color temperature adjustable here's a different controller full color and white full color and color temperature adjustable dual white if you look back in the app you'll notice that there are all the different controllers that have ever been produced so if you are you know for example you're using this controller and now you want to control the lights um, you know from your phone select the appropriate controller the point here is that if you take the wrong one and let's say it defaults to this controller and you're you're using um, a dual white bulb it's not going to work okay so it's very important top right hand corner the two little arrows you just got to move between and select the appropriate controller for your bulb types okay and once you've done that you're going to mirror the functionality that you're familiar with um, and that's going to work with your bulbs okay so what I'm going to do in fact I'm going to go back we're just going to do it with one of the uh, one of the new bulb types so I'm going to go up to these two little arrows top right hand corner and I'm going to select this controller for the for the uh, new bulb types just going to show you that again. See, just matches the, the the remote control you've got. So I'm going to take that one. I'm just going to pair up a bulb now. Okay, so now we've selected the appropriate controller style for the bulb we're going to use. We're going to use one of the latest bulbs, so we're going to use the latest full color and color temperature adjustable um, screen. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is um, pair the bulb to one of the zones. So you can select one, two, three, or four zones, just as you would on the um, handheld controller. You've got the four different zones that you can place the bulb into. So let's just put it in zone one, as we're just going to bump bulb to start with. So we've got a zone one, we're just going to turn on uh, the bulb. Um, it's a little bit of red there. Let's just turn off these lights here so we can see. <coughs> Excuse me, what's happening? Right, up the top here, you'll notice there's another little icon, which is uh, just like a little chain, like little two chain links. So we're just going to touch on that. This is for linking. So we're just going to touch on that. We've got two options, link and unlink, which is nice and straightforward. So if you're dealing with the handheld controllers, you've got to, you know, you've got, you've got to press a few times if you're unlinking or certain sequences for the bulbs. With these little uh, link and unlink buttons, just press them once and the app will send the appropriate code. So we're just going to... Um, Pad a bulb on, as soon as we turn it on, we're just going to touch the link button. We've selected zone one, we're going to pad the bulb on and touch link. There we go. Touch link within a few seconds, it will send the link sequence to the bulb. Okay, it's linked. We'll just go back to the control screen and we now have full colour um, control from the bulb, just as we would from the, the handheld controller. So you can now control the, uh, the lights from from your smart device. You can pair more than one phone or you can control the same light for more than one device. So you know friends or family um, can have the same control on their own device and um, you can all control the bulbs individually so it's not a case of um, you know having to have a particular phone there any of the phones in the house can um, or the office or wherever you're using it can control the same bulbs. So on and off um, full dimming as you'd expect um, got full um, saturation on this particular bulb so you've got all the controls that you have so it was really quite simple the whole process from start to finish is probably just a couple of minutes um, and just as a brief recap um, firstly we've made sure that the smart device we're using um, is connected to the Wi-Fi we've downloaded the app MyLight 3 my light m i light my light three must be version three or it simply won't work with the latest um, version six wi-fi bridge controller we uh, put it into link mode 
paired it up with the with the app. Very importantly, we've selected the appropriate controller style for um, the bulbs that we're actually wanting to control, um, and then just link the bulbs in the normal way. Couldn't be simpler. Okay, so it's the LED Logic Wi-Fi uh, bridge controller, which will allow you to control all your Wi-Fi remote control bulbs from uh, MyLight, LED Logic, etc. Um, via smartphone. So thank you for um, watching and I hope you've enjoyed the video.